Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out a brand of makeup called Moira. I first discovered this brand when I did a little new at the drugstore video. I came across a couple of their products at my local HEB. It was the first time I'd ever seen any products by this brand. And you know, it was in the drugstore, so reasonably priced stuff. On their website, I found that they had just about everything that you needed to do a full face. So I got as much of it as I could budget for. So let's go check out how everything applies. Let's check out how everything wears. And then we will see what we think about this brand called Moira. Have you heard of this brand? Please tell me down in the comments. It's pretty new to me, so I'm very interested to see how it all works out. If you're interested to see how it works out as well, then just keep on watching. We're gonna start with this Moira Glow and Gleam Shadow Palette. Now, this is nice. It feels really nice. Nice big mirror. And then there's the palette. It's a really nice mix of like warm and cool tones. It's very neutral, but there's a little bit of color. I'm gonna start with this little light brown shade right here. I am just now realizing but I didn't prime my lids. <laughs> ah! It's okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna go into this brown shade right, this one, what I'm dipping in right now. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I actually really like that. <gasps> okay, fun. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Now I'm just gonna go back into the little brown shade. That was quick, that was easy, I like it. Now, for the face. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, all right, so let's start out with the Moira Complete Wear Foundation. It says, This is a long wear waterproof and weightless foundation for a naturally balanced, even skin-like pigment tone complete with a smooth matte finish. A full coverage perfecter to minimize the appearance of pores, blur out blemishes, spots, fine lines, wrinkles, breakouts, and other imperfections. Powered with hydrating ingredients, like allantoin and sodium hyaluronate to prevent dryness and retain moisture. Collagen and vitamin E helps improve skin elasticity and protect against damaging free radicals, complete with the additional benefits of controlling excess oil and preventing dry patches or cakey look. Whew, lots of descriptors on the box. I really appreciate that, actually. So this foundation has mica in it, no alcohol. I appreciate that. So nice little glass bottle with a pump. Love that. Okay, so kind of a little bit runny, not too bad. All right, let's try it out. Hope it matches. Wow, is that like my perfect match? What the heck? <laughs> there was no shade matching or anything on the website, so I kind of just had to guess. All right, this is the Moira Lavish Creamy Concealer. Tired of looking for a good concealer? Moira Lavish Creamy Concealer is the concealer you have been looking for. Our lavish formula will even out your skin, cover dark circles, or any other imperfections you want to hide away. Long wearing, crease proof, a medium to full coverage that lets you create the perfect look. Here it is. Cute. Okay. It smells like paint, like the foundation. Okay, not too thick or anything. I think I get most scared of trying new concealers. Let me add a little more. Before I blend this out, I'm gonna go ahead and get the powder out and ready. So I got the Moira Loose Setting Powder. The Moira Setting Powder is a weightless powder that delivers a silky smooth matte finish. Love that matte finish. Infused with collagen and vitamin E, this hydrating, hydrating finishing powder blurs the look of pores, fine lines, and softens your complexion. This unique formula designs to absorb oil and, hold, and holds your makeup in place all day long without flashback. Okay, pretty standard. Put in the shower real quick. I look ill. Right off the bat, I don't think I like the powder that much. It's just not quite as like finely milled as I would really like it to be. 
but it's okay. You know, powders are one thing that I'm just, I'm not that picky about anyways, so. Okay, y'all, I'm freaking out a little bit because this is looking really nice. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Will it wear? Will it wear? That's always the question, isn't it? Will it wear well? We will see. So they've got these really cute little Moira Island Queen Bronze Goddess Duo. Boom. Very cute. Little mirror and everything. I'm gonna try and stay over here more, but just sort of dip into them both, really. So it's a little more pigmented than I typically go for in a bronzer. But it blended out really nice. So this blush is not new to me, but this is their Passion Blossom Blush Duo. So same little setup as the bronzer. I did use this one in my new at the drugstore video. That's how I initially discovered this brand. So I already know that I like this blush. I'm shook at how good this stuff is so far. Cute, cute, cute. I have a brow product. Yes, this is the Fine Brow Pencil. I got the color 104 Ash Brown. The color's not quite right for me. It's maybe just a little light for my brows, but we're gonna buff it out. Comes with a spoolie. You love that? The, the product itself is working out well. It's not too waxy or anything. Next up, I've got this Iconic Brush Liner. Ah, this bugs me when I can't like put the cap on the other end of it. All right, it's got a thing. Oh, watch this. Okay. Uh, I guess let's try it. Oh man. So this is pretty terrible. <laughs> it's just like not, I don't know, it's too dry, it's not coming out, I don't know what the deal is. I guess that'll have to work. The last products that I have are lip products, so let me get some mascara on real quick. Mascara is on, I will say, I did go back over the eyeliner with my Fenty eyeliner. It just didn't look good, I don't like it. So I, I cheated a little bit. So let's see. This one, which probably is the one I'll go in with, this is the Scandalous Matte Lips Waterproof. This one, this is just matte liquid lipsticks. Oh God, it's horrible. Ugh. Oh. It looks like a nice color. I think I'm probably gonna use this one. Oh, I like this applicator better. But that's pretty too. Brighter one is this one. Lighter, more nudie one is this one. I think I'm gonna go in with this. This is the waterproof one. It really smells like so bad. I can't. The color is really, really nice. Really pretty color. The formula dries down really fast and it's already pretty dry. The color is just like perfect though. I love that color. So last but not least, I have this Prime Fix Mist from Moira. It's like a priming spray, but it's said on the box that you can use it as a setting spray. So that's what I'm gonna do. I just sprayed that straight into my hair. <laughs> Okay, so pro tip, make sure that the thing is pointing at your face when you spray it. Okay, so now that the lipstick is dried down, it's pretty comfortable. It's a dry formula, but it's comfortable. So, so that I guess is going to be, oh, I didn't do any highlighter, hold on. So I will, of course, 
check in throughout the day and we're gonna see how the foundation and everything holds up. So I will be back very soon. I'm looking in the mirror here. Things are looking a little rough right now. So you can see, maybe you can see, I can't really tell, but like in the corner of my nose, my smile lines, things are collecting and here in my chin, ew, look at my chin, oh my God. Ew! Let me hit concealer. Concealer is actually not doing too bad. Now I will say that it's windy and cold here right now. Can you see my nose? Can you see it? This side is never as bad as this side for some reason. I don't know why that is. This foundation might do better like on a hot day, which I mean, I live in Texas, so it's normally hot here. I've been outside all morning. I'm about to go inside, so we'll see how it does just kind of sitting on my face for the rest of the day. I'll check in again at the end of the day. I still got like five or six more hours that I'm gonna be out, so I'll be back in a little bit. Ooh. Hello. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> Let's take a look, see at everything. Let me just show you guys what's going on here. Just so you can see for yourselves. Before my first check-in, I had been outside for a few hours and it's been very cold here. Extremely windy, like uncharacteristically windy for here. The makeup's now been on nine hours or so. Uh, it's um, actually gotten a lot better. Things were really dry and crusty looking during my first check-in. It's settled down a lot and it's actually looking a lot better. So that's a good thing. The concealer is actually pretty great, honestly. Like it really held up. I'm gonna use it again because I think on like a normal day, what's like a normal weather day for me, that this makeup might work better under like a normal Texas day and not, you know, right out of the gate being outside in the cold wind for three hours. <laughs> I think that after I finished my lab and I was inside for the rest of the day, like the natural oils of my skin started to produce and that kind of helped the foundation settle in. I would say that they're good products. Like the way that my face looks now, especially for how long it's been on and especially for the kind of day that I had, it's held up really, really well. And it's been extremely comfortable on my face all day. I would say that the only thing that was pretty horrible was the eyeliner. I didn't like this eyeliner at all. Everything else though was fantastic. Foundation and concealer, yes. Powder, yes. Brow product, yes. Blush, bronzer, absolutely. Oh, the liquid lipstick, I have, I put it in my purse. I've eaten since I put it on. It wore really well. It's not the kind of lipstick that you wanna wear every day because it does dry you out pretty good. But once it dries down, it's relatively comfortable. It wore really well. Since I'm about to take my makeup off, let me try this other one. I like it. It's a really bright color, obviously. I'm glad that I didn't try to wear it today because yeah, it, <laughs> it doesn't work with this eye look. <laughs> oh, and then the primer water. I like it. Eyeshadow palette, really, really nice. As is the other one. I'm sure I'll be buying more palettes from them in the future. Moira, girl, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> How have I never heard of this brand? Is it new? What's the tea? I need to know what the deal is. Why don't I know about this brand? Why isn't anybody talking about this brand? I'm so confused. It's really good, I like it. It's really good. Get with me about that eyeliner, Moira, because <sighs> It was a it was a flop, and like with everything else considered, you're too good for that kind of crappy eyeliner. We need to do something about that. We got to step up the eyeliner game. Everything else though, Moira, fantastic brand. I'm loving it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this brand before. Let me know if you've heard of this brand before. Let me know if you plan on trying it. Now that this is a little bit dry, it's very comfortable. So anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really hope that you will come back and watch another video and hang out with me again sometime. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.